There aren't many ways to get a fully fleshed out epic adventure on a smartphone or a tablet, but Horn is an ambitious game that takes us one step closer to that dream. You play as a young blacksmith called Horn. He wakes up one morning suffering from one of the most common illnesses affecting video game characters. Amnesia. Well, a small case of it anyway. He can't work out how he got to this strange place. Where... Where am I? He soon meets a talkative stone golem called Gord and takes his head with him along for the journey, as you do. Horn learns that this is a cursed world where all the fleshy creatures have been turned into giant stone golems. <laughs> Yes, but by battling the rocky creatures, they fall apart and release all the villagers and, and the forest creatures that are trapped within. Barjo, Hex, I, I have an issue with this concept. In rock form, the creatures are far more powerful. Why on earth would they want to go back to normal? Well, Darren, it's because they're trapped in there. I mean, it'd be horrible to be trapped inside a hard, lifeless, inorganic shell. <clears throat> Sorry, Darren. Awkward. Well, anyway, this is a very good looking game for iOS. It's also a very big world with lots of gameplay time. Much of it does look similar, but the locations have some nice scenery and background to them. Every time that sun glare shined through, I smile, Bajo. While I do agree that this is a good looking game, that fidelity comes at a price. Lag. Every now and then the game will chug and it also eats away at your device's battery life. <laughs> yeah, but it's a small price to pay. I mean, this is one of the best looking games we've played on a phone or a tablet and the fights are exciting too. You'll encounter a variety of rocky enemies, each with their own attack patterns. Your basic strategy is to slash at the enemy to expose their weak point and then hit that for massive damage. This requires you to roll about avoiding attacks as enemies slash wildly and kick with their back legs. Every now and then they'll do a, a giant attack which allows you to jump to avoid it and slash on the way back down. And I wish there were more of those because I found the dodge to be a little bit unresponsive. Affirmative. You can't dodge or cue a dodge until you finish your current sword swing, which means you'll often tap wildly trying to get out of the way. In my expert opinion, this game should have been more fluid. Well, even so, it's exciting forging and crafting new weapons and trying them out on enemies. You also need to keep a good supply of potions and stun bombs or you won't last long, and this means lots of gem collecting. Gems also act as a way to let you know where you have been before. They're strategically placed by the game's designers to help you avoid getting turned around. Yeah, I got turned around a lot, Darren, especially because the combat makes you spin around in circles so much. But eventually you do get the hang of how the levels work and there's even some simple puzzles to solve along the way. Yes, but it's mostly lever pulling and, and shooting arrows through fire. It's a shame they weren't more complicated and challenging. Yeah, and I, I get why they're so simple though. It's the sort of game you'll pick up and play for a while and then put down. And I imagine if you were halfway through a complicated puzzle when you picked it up, it would be very difficult indeed. Mm. One thing they do get right is the movement. You simply touch the ground to make Horn move forward. This can often be a bit fiddly in touchscreen games, but here they have the perfect balance of helping you and giving you control. Yeah, I still got stuck on the odd thing here and there, and there is a lot of camera adjustment, but yeah, I, I think they've done a good job with that. They've put a lot of work into this game, and I wanted to like it more because it looks so good, but that repetition just was too much for me in the end. So I'm gonna give it seven out of 10 rubber chickens. Well, I had a wonderful time with this, and there's a beautiful story to pull you along as well, so I'm giving it eight and a half.